everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we are back today to kick off with a brand new team in our Roulette series. So we'll be taking your nominations, throwing them into the Roulette wheel, and selecting that team of six to take onto the channel this week. So we'll be doing that momentarily. But before we do that, huge thank you to each and every one of you for those nominations for the Pokemon this week. And keep an eye out on our community section of the channel because I'll be putting up a new post on Tuesday, Wednesday time to ask you for nominations for next week on the channel now I don't know how long we're going to be continuing this series for remember when I started this it was just an interim period because we'd come pretty much to the end of the 2019 season we've only got worlds coming up which is going to be in a few weeks time so it was to fill that gap until we got the new rule set so as soon as that new rule set for the 2020 season is announced we'll be kicking right back into really serious competitive Pokemon but I hope you have been enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. You know, we're seeing a lot of Pokemon in a format that we've probably never seen before. And we we are taking it lighthearted. I'm taking it kind of seriously as well at the same time. I really want to do well and get above the 1500 mark that we've not been talking about. But if we can do that this week, that would be incredible. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good about the team that we've got this week. And uh, yes, moving forward, it will be good. Hopefully we have a good few weeks left of this series. And you know, we'll be bringing this series back um, every single year in between this kind of dead period of the VGC season. Because it's, it's we've kind of exhausted most things. We've got Worlds coming up. Worlds is always going to be fun. And then as soon as Worlds is done, we'll get straight into the next year's season and I've got lots of content planned for that as well so very exciting times ahead and um, but getting on to today's episode so we need to nominate these six Pokemon remember we've got our four bonus buttons that we can activate our randomizer switch up legend maker and our patreon button but we can't activate any of those to change things up in the team until Wednesday but we gives us the chance to let the team have a little bit of a run out in Monday and Tuesday's episode. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping we get a good selection today. So without further ado, guys, thank you so much for all the selections. Once again, let's head over to the roulette wheel and see which six Pokemon we'll be taking onto the ladder this week. All right, we got a <laughs> we got an incredible team. I really like it. We got a really good mix of Pokemon here. We've got that Salazzle. Finally, finally, Brandon has been pushing for that nomination for the longest time. So it has come to fruition. We're going to be using Salazzle. It's going to be exciting to use. It's a great Pokemon. Poison typing. It's a fast faker. Use. It's got loads of support options as well. So hopefully that will work out well. We've got Shiftry. We've got Haxorus, another Pokemon. That I know uh, Rex has been pushing for a lot uh, the last few weeks. So that's a good indication, guys. I know it's sometimes disappointing if you nominate a Pokemon week after week and it's not coming up. But be persistent assistant that selection will eventually come up i promise you that and uh, so we've got the salazzle the kingla shift tree haxorus and then our restricted combination between dialga and palkia so very exciting team this week we've got the old diamond and pearl restricted pairing which is uh, which is something i've never really seen so we'll head over to the battle spot uh, the team is down in the description below there's a roll paste and a poker paste of the team uh, if you'd like to check out the details and if you're crazy enough like myself if you want to try it out do that but do let me know in the comment section how you've got on with it and maybe what you change about it so the team just before we jump into it today is Salazzle, Kingler, Shiftry, the Haxorus, the Dialga and the Palkia we've went Dialga, Palkia with Trick Room route they've both got Trick Room quite bulky um Salazzle has got the Z move there with the Poisonium Z 
to just nuke Xerneas because as you can see we're quite weak to fairies in general and Xerneas being one of the more popular restrictors in this format it does scare me a little bit so having a way to quickly deal with that is going to be really valuable uh, fake out support there then we've got the Kingler Kingler is a cool Pokemon we've got wide guard on there for supporting the rest of the team it helps out a lot against Dal um, Groudon and Kyogre especially with those spread attacks that you see so commonly used there shift tree another Pokemon quite nice it helps us out a lot against that Groudon matchup with that chlorophyll ability we're going to be able to have that fast fake out and I've put worry seed on there as well uh, if we're against Groudon my thinking was we can worry seed the Groudon we got two strong water types on the team here so we can get rid of that desolate land and then pick up a knockout with either Kingler or, or Palkia whichever one sees fit then we got the Haxorus Put a choice scarf on there. We've went down a bit of a one-hit KO route here with Kingler having guillotine and the Haxorus having scarf guillotine. So I'm hoping we pick up some guillotine knockouts this week. And then, like I say, the Palkia and the Dialga are the two restricteds on this team that do give us a really good matchup against uh, primarily Kyogre teams. It's going to be about taking down the, the partnering restricted Pokemon and then making sure that we've got enough in the tank for these two to kind of clean up from there. So all in all, not a bad team. Like I say, we've still got four buttons that we can activate later in the week so the come Wednesday we might start activating those but do get your comments in now let me know which button you would like to see activated first and we can make sure to do that come Wednesday Thursday or Friday whichever one you would like to see fit but without further ado let's get into it today need to make sure yep we got the tunes on and um, we can jump straight into it I had a haircut so my hair is looking um, a lot better it's weird how my camera fits sometimes I can do this and it looks like I've got like a really square head or is it actually just my hair I don't know but I had a haircut it looks a lot better I guess we need to pick some music uh, let's go Gladian Gladian's a great tune uh, I've been loving it recently so let's kick off with it today I'm hoping we can have a good start and get our rating into a little bit of a, a healthier position because at the minute it's just it's a, abysmal um, but it's fine we're gonna try it <laughs> it's gonna be fun regardless we've got the tools here where we can do some we can do some work I feel um so hopefully we get the opponents to match up and uh, we get the results to follow with that in other news though as well for those of you out there I will be this week trialing um, two series on the channel we'll be bringing back our competitive series which is our School of Hard Knocks daily battle series which is a more serious VGC series so I'll be doing that Monday to Friday this week as I say I'm trialing it because I just want to see how easy it is for me to juggle both series all this content two episodes a day it's it, it is a lot, but if I can do it, that would be amazing. Um, so this series will stick the normal time, 7, 7 a.m. in the morning UK time, and then 7 p.m. will be the Battle Spot series, and we've got a really fun team starting this week. So keep an eye out for that. Let me know your thoughts on the team and uh, the content in general. Be really good. Any feedback is always really appreciated. So we have a first opponent. Great stuff. So let's hop in to Team Prepo. Right, our first opponent today running Drift Blim, Tapu Lele, Groudon, Curum, White, Melotic, and Raikou. We're looking at uh, definitely a gravity team here. Um, Tapu Lele, probably the gravity user. Uh, Drift Blim going to have something like Hypnosis, which is really, really frustrating. Um, Shift Tree is probably something we want to bring because the Groudon is probably something that my opponent wants to bring in the back. Uh, the Curum White um, is... Uh, awkward to deal with for sure. Uh, Dialga Palkia. I think the best thing that we can probably do is try and Trick Room um, turn one and maybe go from there. Um, because I the the Lele has to lock into Gravity for the the um, the Drift Limb to be able to spam the Sleep. Oh, it's really really awkward because we've got nothing that kind of helps us out against. Um, although we could go Haxorus as a lead because at, at least then we should be out speeding the, the Lele and the Drift Blim with how you need to speed things in this sort of team. Let's go Dialga as well. Um, do we bring and shift tree? I'm gonna I'm gonna try try and lock in. I think I think we've ran out of time. I don't know what we've locked in. <laughs> what off dude? The worst start possible. It's fine. It's fine. It's all about having fun. In this series, that's what they say. That's what they say, isn't it? I don't know who they are, but um, let's see. 
Haxorus Dialga, Haxorus, come on, let's do, let's make some waves, Haxorus. I don't know whether to go for Guillotine turn one. I don't know whether I want to actually attack the uh, the Tapu Lele though, because the thing is attacking the Lele, um, if it does go for Gravity, which it's likely to do, if we knock it out, say, it gives my opponent a free switch into something the next turn, and we, we don't really want to be doing that. We don't want to be giving my opponent any more an advantage than they already have. <laughs> so we'll try and go for, um, oh, what do I lock into? Guillotine won't affect the Drift Blame. We can Dragon Claw it for sure. Um, and I will I will try in Trick Room, definitely. We've got to, got to try in Trick Room. Um, ooh, Icy Wind. Okay. That's a different, that's a different route that uh, my opponent's gone for. I don't mind the speed drop at all. Dialga will appreciate that. And Haxor as well. I mean, if we get through this turn, for sure. The Dragon Claw doing decent damage there. And the Taunt into Dialga going to shut our ability to um, Trick Room down, which is fine. It's fine. It is fine. Because now I think we can probably adjust our board position a little bit. Um, maybe get Salazzle in here and... Well, we have to attack. Let's go for the Lele. Let's go for a Flash Cannon and get some damage onto it. We know it's not Scarfed Lele now, so it gives us a little bit more uh, security going forward. We still could see the uh, the Gravity come out, though. That's the that's the the worst thing. Um, but we are going to see a Tailwind set up from the Drift Blim. There's the Gravity. And we're falling into the trap that we said we wouldn't fall into the turn before, but that's fine. It's all right. Um, huh. We should have went for the Drift Blimp, but never mind. And we don't take down the Lele, so it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Um, we can't obviously go for a Fake Out because of the terrain. I've got nothing to really switch in for Salazzle. Do we need it for later on in the game? Hmm. Not so much. It might be one of those Pokemon that we can actually get away with just sacking and uh, just go for a Sludge Bomb. And if we get a Sludge Bomb off, it might be might be nice to be able to do that. Let's go for Flash Cannon into the Drift Blim. I don't expect it to pick up the knockout, but you never know. There's another Icy Wind coming out. Potentially trying to break a Sash, I reckon. Um, on the Salazzle before hitting it with a Psychic. That would be my best guess. You may go Moonblast. It has gone Moonblast. So, um, we could potentially pick up a double knockout here, which would be incredible. Um, and Salazzle gets to stick around for another day. Which is <clears throat> really nice. Hopefully we can pick up a knockout here with Flash Cannon. Come on, Dialga. Let's do this for the team. Do it for me. Ah, too weak. Too weak. A taunt does wear off, though. Which is pretty big. Um, and the Lele going down means that we can potentially Trick Room. And if we can get our little old Kingler on the field, then we can white guard Trick Room. And then everything is looking rosy in the garden, isn't it? Uh... It's getting Kingler in, though. Mm. And if the Kurum's the last Pokemon in the back, which I expect it to be, I need to keep Haxorus around for later. So I think the one thing that we could potentially do is... Um, yeah, let's try and get some damage off uh, just into the ground. I'm not going to Z-move. I'm going to try and overheat it. And I'm just going to protect the Alga. I'm going to hope that Salazzle goes down here. I'm sorry, Salazzle, but you're the one thing I feel like I can I can sacrifice at this point. Um, there's Icy Wind. Yeah, once again, just loving that Icy Wind, this Drift Blim, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, so take us down a notch or two here. Uh, Grad on Precipice Blades. Hit, 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 hit. It hits, so that's good. Okay. Yeah. Right, now, Salazzle going down. I guess the worst possible scenario for us would be a fire punch from the Groudon into Dialga. Mm. But is it too tempting? It depends how much, how good, like the knowledge base my opponent has for King Leno and Wide Guard. Like I know it, and I would always be like, it's obviously got Wide Guard. It's a crab. Look at it. It's gonna have wide guard. I just know it has wide guard. That's no logic for knowing that it has wide guard. Driftlet! Ah, oh, it's gone for <sighs> hypnosis. Are you kidding? <laughs> blind hypnosis. Oh, it's not blind, is it? It's in gravity, so. 
<sighs> Kingla, we need you. We need you, Kingla. We need you to be awake. And this is not the time to be sleeping. Uh, that tailwind pit is out. The weirdness disappears. Um, Kingla, come on. Oh, this is not the time to be falling asleep, my friend. Because <sighs> all we've got is Haxorus to come back in. Um, I'm going to try and wide guard. What I'm going to try and do is because it's pointless bringing Haxorus in. If Dialga goes down, we're in a trick room. Haxorus is just going to be outspeeding uh, the slow thing on the field because of the scarf. So we're better off sacking this to give Dialga at least a turn where Kingler can maybe wake up. Um, that's what we need. Press the blades. Yeah, please don't do too much damage to Kingler. Kingler takes it kind of well. Haxorus going down, of course. Um, and then another hypnosis from this. Blinking drift limb. Uh, the gravity runs out. Um, okay. We need Kinglet to wake up and uh, guillotine the Groudon. That would be the most phenomenal start to any roulette series that we've ever had. Um, you notice as well, our teams that we, we play quite frequently, we can't use Crab Hammer here, so we're going for the guillotine. I'm going for the, the big style point guillotine here. We'll go for a flash cannon into the drift limb. Um, hopefully my opponent doesn't go for Precipice Blades. Kingler, wake up! Come on! You're the worst crab in the world of crabs. All we can hope for now is a Precipice Blades miss. Like a double Precipice Blades miss. We need that. We need that. Come on. There's one. Ah, oh, but not on the one we need. We're never going to be able to do it with just Dialga and Kingler. Is not going to be able to do this by itself. Oh, come on. Kingler. Ha. Yeah, what I was saying is what you'll notice with these roulette teams is we're quite weak to sleep. <laughs> In general, um, it's just something that we're not really able to check that well. Um, okay, we have to rely on Precipice Blades missing, I think, more than anything. Try and flash cannon the cure him. It's definitely not going to be enough to pick up the knockout. And um, I think Dialga still got its berry, but. <sighs> One blade is going to take us down, and we need like at least two or three earth powers to take this ground on down. I'd imagine. Yeah, we're just so close. There's just not, not, not enough earth power. This probably does it. I'm blaming Kingler, and yeah, it's a hard matchup, isn't it? Uh, Drift limb. Any time with hypnosis is always. Awful to play against. It's a good game to my opponent. I did think there was a slight, there was a slight chance there that we could have maybe won that match. Um, but yeah, the hypnosis coming out kind of shut down our options to be able to do much um, going forward, which is a bit, bit disappointing. Um, maybe Palkia would have been good there against the Groudon, but Shift Tree would have been decent. The only reason why I didn't really bring Shift Tree was because. It's just, it's like you bring Shift Tree or Salazzle, or it feels like that's how the team is meant to be operated. Because if you bring Salazzle and Shift Tree, I mean, we'll try it, we'll try it out. Uh, if you bring both of them, then I do feel like you're kind of restricting your offensive options uh, elsewhere. So, um, it's a shame the Haxorus went down the way it did, but there was logic behind sacking it, I think, at the time. Um because of the trick room going up. And maybe it was better just not setting the trick room up at all and just going for an earth power into the ground on at that point than getting Haxorus in. But then we got to make the decision, I guess, depending on what we've got left. What do we get rid of at that point? Um, do we get rid of... Uh, well, what do we lock into? Do we lock into Stomp and Tantrum or Dragon Claw? Dragon Claw will get the Curum in most situations, but then the Dragon Claw is not going to be really strong enough to get the ground on. Like it's going to be a really difficult match isn't it either way anyway we're going to look for our next opponent we'll not dwell on our last result we'll move on and try and get a win to kick us off today because that is the goal um, and I feel like this team can do it it can do it um, this is the first match with it as well so we just got to try and bed ourselves in with it and get familiar with it but I'll cut the video now we'll come back when we find our first opponent my friends and we finally got our next opponent of the episode. Hopefully, in this <laughs> in today's episode, I've actually managed to cut out that section. We had an exciting and enjoyable section of no cutscene when I was waiting on opponent on Friday's episode. So I do apologise for that. But we got our next opponent. Let's hop straight into team preview. 
Okay, Simo is running a team of Iveltal, Amungus, Azonius, Incineroar, Gastrodon, and uh, Tapu Fini. Uh, we've got the XY combination here. Re really strong combination of Pokemon. Um, good support options there with the Incineroar. Fake out support, the redirection from the Amungus. Uh, the Gastrodon and the Finny obviously supporting their own way, but both water types, both weak to Shift Tree. Um, I might actually, you know, we were talking about it just before lead Shift Tree Salazzle. It gives us double fake out. Um, one of the things I do worry about a little bit is the fact that, um, yeah, we might be better off going Shift Tree. I definitely want to bring Shift Tree to this match, 100%. Um, we could bring Haxorus, go Guillotine. Guillotine style or go Dialga. Um, I might go Dialga. Dialga? No. Let's go Haxorus. Salazzo. And then, yeah, Dialga. I think I'll bench Palkia for this one. Okay, let's get into this one. Simo, good luck, my friend. And uh, hopefully, guys, for you out there, I'm going to try my best to uh, to get a victory. Uh, Shiftry can do some work in this match, for sure. Uh, we still have to be very careful around the Xerneas, which our team is very, very weak against. Xerneas and Cineroar, here we go. Um, okay. Mm, do we just trade fake outs? Trade fake outs and bring in uh, Salazzle. I think, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I worry about the Incineroar going out into um, definitely into Amoongus here, but we'll bring in Salazzle. And we've always got Dialga in the back as well that we can bring in. But we'll, we'll go for a fake out into the, the Xerneas here with with Shift Tree. The tree with arms. Um, and there's the flare blitz. Yeah, just going straight off the bat. <laughs> going for the attack. Not worried about fake out. It's like, yeah, I just want to get rid of this this tree. Um, so we do hang on with a focus sash. The Incinero takes a nice chunk of damage there. Um, now we are pressure in the Xerneas, so that's that's a decent thing. Uh, I probably want to keep Shift Tree around for later on. I'm going to switch Haxorus back in. Or do I? Do I? Do I? Mm. Yes. I think so. Um, do we go fake out into the zone, or do we just go taunt into it? I feel like the Incineroar switches out here. That's the only thing. But it probably goes U-turn out, and the Xerneas probably protects. Uh, but just to check, because we will lose if we let the Xerneas get a Geomancy off. I'm just going to fake out just to be safe here. We'll get Haxorus back onto the field, and we'll keep some, uh, Shift Tree around for later. Zony is protecting. Um, hmm. Here's a U turn, I reckon. Yeah, we might be in better going for the, the fake out into the Incineroar. Ah, in hindsight, obviously, we would, we would have been. Um, the Amoongus will come in now, for sure. Uh, I mean, the, the one win con we've got here against this is if. Oh, it's Evelto. Huh? That's interesting. Um, I don't know whether the, the Xerneas stays in. I really don't. I don't know. Um, oh, what do we do with Haxorus? Do we just guillotine the Veltal? Yeah, let's do it. And go for the Z Acid Downpour into the Xerneas. If we can get a double knockout here. <laughs> Christmas has come early. Oh, we get it. <laughs> Haxorus. Is the best, <laughs> and they answered down. Poor my opponent is like, what is going on? Oh, this is the greatest turn in Pokemon history ever. You know, it's obviously not, but on this series, greatest turn ever that we've had. Acid Dampo, please pick up the knockout. You've got to do it, Salazzle. Put in the work. Get rid of the deer, and then this match is pretty much sealed up. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, yes, I love this team already. It's just the best team ever. I mean, what more do you want? Guillotine Haxorus <clears throat> and Acid Damp or Salazzo. What more do you need in this format? Nothing. Nothing. Because anything that resists 
the acid downpour, the sludge bomb or the overheat, you just guillotine and it's gone and your problem is erased. There is the Amoongus though, it is in the back. Um, <clears throat> we've still got a little bit of work to do to uh, to get around these Pokemon. Uh, what I'm going to do, switch Haxorus out, I feel like that's a good slot for uh, my opponent to come in and, uh, well, to, to spoil really, to stop those one hit KOs. Um, we'll go for a taunt into the Amoogus, try and shut it down. We might get faked out into our Salazzle slot though. But if they try and spoil our Haxorus, then it's 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 fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's alright. That's good. That's good. Um, so we'll fake out. Um, yeah, fake out Amoongus and overheat. Do you overheat? I don't know if the overheat will, will pick up the knockout. Um, have we got a better option here? I don't know if we have. I mean, we're probably better off going for just a fake out into Incineroar and then overheating Amoongus and hoping the overheat picks up the knockout. It might do, you know. Uh, at least then Shiftry gets another turn on the field. Let's see. Salazzle putting in the work here. Come on. Get the Amoongus. Oh, it's so close. Has it got a berry? Are we bury Amoongus? It's going to put Salazzle to sleep. We would have been better going for a taunt there. But we're all right. We're all right. We're not in the worst position ever. Uh, we'll switch Siftry out again. We'll bring in Haxorus once again. Um, and I'll try and go for a Sludge Bomb into the Amoongus here. We're going to have to take a turn to sleep. Uh, so hyped after that turn. That pulls this episode from the ashes. And just... Uh, so good. <laughs> I'm so pleased we got that guillotine. It's like the best feeling when you use a one-hit kill move. It's, yeah, they're not like the most viable moves, but when you hit them, it's like, yes. Justice. Uh, there's a Flare Blitz. It's going to be into Salazzle. Just get some damage off there, doing some decent damage, I guess. Um, hopefully we don't see a spore. Uh, just clear smog into Haxorus. The nice thing about having a nerve on the Haxorus as well, it means that the Incineroar now that's sitting on the field um, cannot uh, activate its berry. So as long as we're alive and kicking, we're all right. We'll go for the Sludge Bomb and we'll go for a Stomping Tantrum into the Incineroar. I would have went for Earthquake on um, Haxorus, but we've got nothing that can sit next to it. So Stomping just made a lot more sense. It is enough to pick up the knockout on the Incineroar, and we've just got the Amoongus left. It's probably going to put... Ah, no, no putting anything to sleep. Salazzle coming through, and we're going to end up with the pairing that did all the work in this match, winning out. Haxorus, Salazzle. Take my hat off to you some more. Thank you so much for the game. What a great way for us to finish up today, guys. The hype is real, so I hope it was uh, enjoyable for you guys to watch. And um, We're going to wrap things up there. We'll be back with another episode with this team tomorrow and hopefully we can carry on this hype train because it is happening. And uh, the more guillotine one hit kills we get, the happier I will be. Kingler has access to it, so it's Kingler's turn next. Obviously, we didn't really get to feature it very much today. Hopefully, we can feature it a bit more tomorrow and it can uh, land one of those one-hit KO moves. That would be amazing. So, we'll wrap it up. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Do leave your comments down below, and I look forward to reading through them, and we'll see you for our next episode tomorrow. So, until then, take care, and bye-bye.